Here's a question from Denise Barkey. What is the best way to achieve the soft, wispy line on the bottom of these bobs and not end up with a triangular look? I always fight too much weight at the bottom and my fix is using a razor to get this effect. Thanks for the question, Denise. Check this out. I totally agree with you. The whole trend now on these bobs is getting away, getting away from this whole idea of bulk sitting here. See how this looks 280s? Now these bobs are sitting a lot closer to the head, not so triangular. Here's the hot tip for you. What you want to do is you're going to take a horizontal section right at that parietal ridge. With this horizontal section, I want you to just simply release this hair. You're going to go through and take the hair that you have underneath and you need to release this. You see it's this density of hair that's making the top of your bob look more triangular or bubble-like. Once we release this, how do you do it? So you bring this up and I want you to just take a particular guide from somewhere, determine your length, and you're going to come in, that's right, elevate this vertically straight up, come through and cut and release. Watch what happens. When I release this, I'm cutting this edge that sits short to long. Take a look at this. When you take this out, look at the line I have, short to long. That collapses the shape. Now bring your bob over that. Now watch this. Take a look at that mannequin now. You can just start to see how I'm starting to collapse that and it's not so bubble or triangular. Now, how do you loosen up the edge after you've done that? This makes it a lot easier to do. Why? Because you've released the weight underneath, now just come through, and I like to come through, depending upon the texture of the hair. Look at, see how it's almost wispy on its own? Just come in, fan, and point cut into that to determine visually the amount of wispiness that you want to achieve on the end of this. Okay, another technique that you could use would be going in and taking a vertical slice. Now watch this one. Take a vertical slice, come through. Here's a great technique to go in and loosen something. Weave your, your thumb blade through. Okay, once you weave it through, I want you to softly close and back cut. Close and back cut. Close and back cut. Close. Notice how I'm not closing completely. So this is a great technique to go in and loosen something up. Look how now what's gonna to start to happen. See how soft and more transparent that's becoming? And then also notice this. This is starting to sit a lot closer to the head. So there's two ways to go in and do this. Number one, undercut or underlayer, as I like to refer. Eliminate horizontal section at the parietal ridge. Come through, elevate straight up, cut a horizontal line. You've taken and you've just sunk in that area underneath in. Bring your line back over on top of that, go through, take the edge, and you can start to see it soft already. And softly fan and point cut. Now here's a great technique when you want to go in and release weight inside and still create a sense of looseness on the edge. Take a vertical section, come through, and once you have this vertical section, I want you to come through and just weave your blunt blade through. Okay, softly close and back cut. Look how I'm not being abrasive. It's a soft closure of the shear and I move, just a soft really closure cuts a certain amount, then you're pushing it back and away. Gives you a nice soft texture that's diffused inside and once again just starts to give a little bit more degree of softness, a little bit degree of movement and starts to soften the edge of a perimeter. Hope you enjoy that. Try it. You're going to like it. <laughs>